you're talking about real silk, um, no, real silk is produced by silkworms that are feeding on mulberry trees. And uh, that's not a new world thing. Um, but cloth that has the same texture, the same feel, the same characteristics as silk uh, is very tenable. Um, anything, any kind of a plant fiber that's, that's really worked and processed uh, can get a silky kind of a texture with, with enough work. Um, there are plants in Guatemala, particularly a, a tree that produces a cotton-like fiber that was used uh, to produce uh, fabric that uh, looks very silky. Um, the question is why was it the word that was ever, they, whatever they were doing, translated as silk uh, in the Book of Mormon, and it's likely that Lehi and his family, knowing silk, thought that they would call it silk. Oh, I wish millions had been spent looking for evidence of the Book of Mormon. That would have been so much fun. Um, but in fact, it's not true. It's not even remotely true. I think what they have in mind is the New World Archaeological Foundation that was established at BYU back in the 50s. The New World Archaeological Foundation was forbidden from the very start by its charter for overtly looking for Book of Mormon things, and it always involved non-Mormon archaeologists. It was never an attempt, much less a failed attempt, as I've heard claimed, to find evidence for the Book of Mormon. The one thing really Book of Mormon related about it is that it chose to look in an area in Chiapas uh, for pre-classic pre ruins because that was the area and the period where the people who organized it on the LDS side thought it was most likely to find Book of Mormon related materials. But it was never given a specific charge to look for Book of Mormon stuff. It was always forbidden from doing so and never, ever, ever published on Mormon issues. Always straightforward, very highly respected uh, mainstream Mesoamerican archaeology. By contrast, Huge amounts of money have been spent on um, searching for biblical sites and so on. If, if you scratch almost any Israeli, you'll find someone who's been out on digs. Uh, it's, it's a passion, it's a hobby. Moshe Dayan, the great uh, Israeli general, was a passionate archaeologist in his free time. Uh, and that's very common. It's very easy to do. As I say, you can live in Jerusalem and go out to major archaeological digs within a half an hour or less. They're right there in the city. Um, and so everybody does it. And because of the vast interest in the Bible all around the world and its vast importance in Western civilization, there's always been lots of money for archaeological digs there. Comparatively speaking, I'm sure a lot of Palestinian archaeologists lament the lack of money, um, but it's nothing compared to Mesoamerica.